So we have a new free AI image generator in the market that can create your real time images for you like this and can also transform your images to any other style like this to this. And not only that, it can also be used as an insane upscaling tool as well. And you know, the best part is uh, it can do all that without paying a single penny. So yeah, we're talking about Kriya AI, which is an advanced artificial intelligence platform that enables real-time generation of visual content. So with Kriya AI, you can upload images, train the AI according to your specific style or concept, and then generate visuals within a canvas. So in this video, we'll talk about all the features of Kriya AI from text to image generation, image to image generation, upscaling, AI patterns, and logo illusion as well. And not only that, I'll also be demonstrating you the perfect prompt formula to create the amazing AI images from Kriya AI. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it and explore this amazing free AI tool. All right, so first of all, you need to go ahead and jump on this website, kriya.ai slash home. And this is basically uh, the interface of Kriya AI where it's a design at the speed of thought. So this is a very new, a uh, real-time AI AI image generation tool which is really really amazing so yeah we have different features for that so we have real-time generation upscale and enhance then we have AI patterns logo illusions and animate difference uh, which will be released in the future all right so the first feature uh, in real-time generation let's just go ahead and jump into that and in that we have two different sections so we have text to image and image to image so now you can go ahead and generate images in real time from text as well as image, which is really, really amazing. So yeah, let's just go ahead and first of all, see text to image, okay? All right, so for text to image, this is basically a very simple interface uh, for creating images with text. So we have a prompt box right over here where you can go ahead and type your prompt straight away. And then we have one more option. So we, you can go ahead and do different variations of your prompt that you have created, which is really, really amazing. And then you can go ahead and also create a random prompts from Kriya AI as well, which is really amazing. So let's just say I create some random prompt like Scottish Highlands with lone uh, badge pipers playing among stone drones. So for that, it will provide you uh, this image and you can go ahead and change the variation of that image as well by hitting this button variation. So this is a very uh, cool feature of Kriya AI, okay? And in that, you can see we have uh, different options over here as well. So we have default, then we have portraits, so you can go ahead and uh, draw portraits from there as well. You can change the style right away in real time, like without any delay time, okay? Then we have concepts, so it will create concept images for you, like take a look at this. Then he has CGI, so this is uh, another very amazing style. Then you have cartoons, so you can also create some cartoonish images out of that as well, which is really amazing. And then uh, we have quick enhance. So over here, you can just click on this and it will quickly enhance image for you and you can go ahead and download it from this button. And the last one is send to enhance and upscale. So let's just say you are very much liking the final image. So you can go ahead and click on this button and this will send you the image uh, to the enhance option and you can totally go ahead and enhance that image to like real XD one, okay? All right, so uh, for the text to image generation, let's just first discuss the prompt formula. Like what is a prompt formula? in Kriya AI to create text to image generation. Okay, so the formula is really simple. First of all, you need to go ahead and describe your subject. Then you need to go ahead and describe your style. The third one is you need to describe your details and then format of your output, okay? So yeah, that's it. subject plus style plus details plus formula of your output. And just like that, you can go ahead and create the as amazing images as you want out of Priya AI, okay? All right, so first of all, let's just go ahead and create some human portraits out of Priya AI and test out its efficiency, okay? So uh, first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it on default. And over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in a prompt and check out its real-time generation, like how well it's gonna perform. So first of all, I'm gonna say young man in the beach and then I'm gonna say uh, the style, the style is gonna be realistic, okay? And then I'm gonna say soft natural lighting or subtle makeup. So this will be the detail of my prompt. So I'm gonna say Okay, it's so like just take a look at the real-time generation it is doing as soon as I'm writing my prompt. So this is really, really amazing, you guys, right? And now the format, the format is going to be high resolution digital portrait for a canvas paint. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and type that real quickly as well. All right. So here we go. This is basically uh, the final result of our prompt, which was young man in the beach, realistic, soft, natural lighting, subtle makeup, high resolution, digital portrait for a canvas paint. Okay. And now, uh, basically, this look uh, good now, but now you can go ahead quickly enhance this image through this quickly enhance feature. So take a look at the difference. Wow, this is totally amazing. It has basically completely enhanced the picture. And this looks very realistic, like very a uh, portrayed image that we wanted out of that. And now, if you can go ahead and try out these uh, buttons right away. So we have default, portrait, concept, CGI. So let's just go ahead and test the portrait one now. All right. So this is the portrait version of our prompt that we provided. And if I can go ahead and quickly enhance this. So yeah, wow. This image looks absolutely perfect. It's a portrait image of a young man in the beach. Realistic, soft, natural lighting, subtle makeup, high resolution, digital portrait for a canvas paint. Let's just go ahead and test out the concept of that. Okay, so the concept image looks uh, quite beautiful as well. Like, check out every detail, everything. This is so amazing. Like, this crazy AI tool that I am came across uh, in the market. And if I can go ahead and test out the CGI version of this. Wow, this looks absolutely perfect. The CGI version is amazing, you guys. And if I can go ahead and take a look at the cartoon version of this image. Wow, literally, uh, guys, I'm so much amazed by the results. Like, Take a look at this. So we have default, we have portrait, we have concept, we have CGI, and we have cartoon. So we have five different versions of just one prompt that we provided, uh, which was Young Man in the Beach. And you can go ahead and change that prompt into five different style or mode. So that's crazy, you guys. Okay. All right. So now let's just go ahead and test out some uh, realistic images uh, through Crea AI. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and for my subject, I'm going to say old man in a library. Okay. So take a look how it's creating uh, the real time generation for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this for at default, first of all. And for the style, it's going to be realistic. Okay. That's good. Then we have the details. So details are going to be wrinkles. First of all, reading glasses. This is the second detail and vintage books. Okay. This is uh, the third detail. And for the format is going to be photorealistic digital painting subtle for framing. Okay. This is going to be our format. All right. Okay, here we go. So yeah, this image looks uh, quite good. And if I can go ahead and quickly enhance this image. So, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Like this is as realistic as it gets. And if I can go ahead and do that in portrait and test out the result, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly enhance it. Wow, take a look at this image, like the detail, everything is to the point. We have wrinkles, reading glasses. We have vintage books and the background in the blur. Then we have, you know, the main, like every detail is to the point. If I can go ahead and check out the concept version of that. Wow, so the concept version looks good as well. Let's check out the CGI. This is crazy, like CGI version looks so good. And if I take a look at the cartoon version of this same prompt, this looks absolutely perfect. Like I'm literally amazed by the results of this AI image generation tool, okay? So now for the third example, let's just go ahead and test out some landscapes and see like whether it will do a good job in the landscapes or not. So for the subject, I'm going to say um, coastal cliffs sunset. This will be my subject. Okay. And for the style, it's going to be impressionist. And for the details, it's going to be vibrant orange and pink hues crashing waves. Okay. This is going to be my detail. And for the format of the image, it's going to be wide canvas for a living room statement piece. Okay. So this is going to be... Uh, my format for the image and take a look at the result. If I can go ahead and quickly enhance that, set it on, set it on default. All right. So this image looks absolutely perfect. And if I can go ahead and see the, like the concept version of this image. So the concept version looks good as well. Let's just go ahead and see the CGI version. The CGI version looks good as well. And the car and for the cartoon version, this one uh, looks absolutely perfect as well. Okay. So we have a coastal view of sunset impression is vibrant. Orange and pink hues, a uh, crashing waves, wide canvas for a living room statement. Okay. So yeah, for that, uh, this image is absolutely perfect. So you can go ahead and create amazing landscapes now as well from Crea AI. Okay. So now let's just go ahead and test out like whether uh, we can create animes out of Crea AI or not. Because as you guys know, like animes are really in demand for image uh, generation, right? So I'm going to go ahead and enter my subject first of all, and I'm going to see anime character warrior and for the style obviously it's going to be anime so i'm going to go ahead and do anime and for the detail i'm going to do dynamic pose 
futuristic armor and for the format is going to be vertical digital illustration for phone wallpaper okay so this is my detail and if i can go ahead and quickly enhance it so yeah this image uh, looks good but it's not like that much anime if you want so if i can go ahead and do it in cgi words all right so now that's more like it is more looking more like of anime now and if i can go ahead and do it in cartoon okay so that is it so this one looks a lot anime version now okay so yeah i think uh for creating animes korea ai doesn't disappoint you it does a really a good job in creating animes for you guys as well okay so now let's just go ahead and quickly check out this tool for creating 3d renders so for that i'm gonna quickly go ahead and type in my subject as futuristic cityscape and the style is gonna be sky fi and for the details is gonna be skyscrapers flying cars and neon lights i'm gonna do that and the format is going to be high resolution 3D render suitable for digital displays, okay? So this is my format for the image. And for that, if I can go ahead and quickly enhance this image. Okay, so this looks uh, really good. And if I can go ahead and do it on default. All right, so now take a look at this image. So now we have future cityscape, sky fi skyscrapers, flying cars, okay, neon lights, high resolution 3D renders suitable for digital displays. So yeah, for a 3D renders, Korea AI does absolutely good job as well, okay? All right, guys, so this was our uh, text to image generation of Korea AI. We talked about human portraits, realistic images, landscapes, animes, 3D renders, and we also talked about like to creating the perfect images out of that through our perfect from form log. So now let's just go ahead and test out image to image generation in Korea AI. So for that, you just need to go ahead and click on this image to image in uh, this section. And now you have different options. Either you can go ahead and create shapes, you can go ahead and like generate image, or you can upload your image for a reference in order to create the same image for that, okay? So let's just say I want to create image to image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload image. And let's just say I upload my image, which is this, okay? All right, so this is my image. I'm wearing a bomber jacket. So this is some kind of uh, daylight marketplace image. So yeah, now let's just go ahead and see like how you can create image to image generation in Korea AI. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt related to that image. So let's just say I type in my prompt that all right, and I wrote my prompt like young man, realistic, soft, natural lighting, subtle makeup, high resolution digital portrait for a canvas paint. Okay, and for that, it provided me this image for a default style. Okay, so let's just say I want to create similar kind of image from uh, this image. Okay, so I can go ahead and check out this option of AI strength. And if I can go ahead and make it a bit less. And now you can see we are getting like quite similar results from our reference image, okay? So we have just provided my from like young man, realistic stop natural lighting, subtle makeup, high resolution digital portrait for a canvas paint, okay? And if I can go ahead and do it to like very less. So yeah, here you go. Now you can see it's changing the image as from a reference image like very slowly from our prompts. So take a look at this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it little too little. Check out the result for that, okay? So let's just say I'm very much liking uh, this image of the previous AI strand. Yeah, let's just say this one uh, looks really, really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on uh, quick enhance so this will quickly enhance my image and uh, now I have converted my this image to an AI image and now I can go ahead and quickly change the style so I can go ahead and do this portrait and quickly enhance this so this is the portrait result of my image and I can go ahead and make this concept and I can quickly enhance it so this is the concept version of my reference image I can make it CGI, quickly enhance it. All right, and I can make my image into a cartoonish image as well. And I can quickly enhance too, okay? So yeah, take a look at this. This is absolutely perfect. So now you can very easily like change your image to any other style image with the help of this amazing AI tool, Kriya AI. All right, so now let's just go ahead and talk about the next feature of Kriya AI, which is upscale and enhance. So for that, you need to click on this run button right over here. So over here, you have a completely different interface for your enhance feature. So over here, you can go ahead and drag and drop your picture. You can type in your prompt. You can basically choose the upscaling factor, like how much you want your image to be upscaled. And you can choose a style for your image as well, which is really, really amazing, okay? And you can choose the AI strength, resemblance strength. You can type your negative prompt as well, okay? 
So we have a lot like in detail matter of upscaling your image. All right, so for the enhanced feature, let's just say I uh, took out this image. So this image I downloaded uh, from Google. So this is an image of a teacher who is teaching some formulas. So I want to upscale it uh, into like some HD one. So for that, I'm gonna uh, like upload my image. And for that, it typed the prompt itself, which is a really cool feature. So a teacher in front of a blackboard with a formula written on it. And I want to upscale that into 4X. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And the style, let's just go ahead and do that like as none for now. And for the AI strength, I'm gonna go ahead and do that as it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on enhance, okay? And now let's just go ahead and see how it's gonna enhance that image for me now, okay? All right, so take a look at this. So this was our normal image and it basically completely upscaled that image with the help of AI from this to this. So like this is absolutely crazy that basically like, you know, upscaled each and everything. The formula written on the board is now in very HD. So previously the image was like that and with the help of AI, it has basically completely changed the image from this to this. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. I'm literally amazed by this AI feature, okay? Wow. All right, so now let's just go ahead and talk about the third feature, which is AI patterns. So it says you can create beautiful patterns with AI in seconds. So yeah, now let's just go ahead and test this out. So over here, you can see we have the option of you can go ahead and enter your prompt here. And after that, you can go ahead and change patterns. So basically, you can choose any existing patterns that Korea AI provides you, or you can go ahead and upload your own as well. So let's just say I go ahead and uh, choose this pattern which is a heart shape and i type in my prompt here so let's just say i type lush orchid fruit granting mystical abilities akin to magic infused anime settings okay so this looks interesting and now let's just go ahead and generate this uh, to see the output for this prompt okay so here we go guys so this is the final uh, result of the prompt that we input which was lush orchid fruit granting mystical abilities akin to magic infused anime settings and for that uh, it provided the hardship pattern and this is the final result so this looks absolutely perfect just the way one and the other thing you can do that is you can go ahead and create patterns like for your text as well so let's just say i go ahead and choose some text of my name let's just say i say this is my name and uh, i click on accept and i type in any prom a coastal town where cobblestone streets mimic ocean waves and let's just go ahead and generate it for my text and see how it looks now okay so for that it provided me uh this image for the results so i have my name engraved over here and the prompt was a coastal town where cobblestone streets mimic base and for that uh this image looks absolutely perfect just the way we want it okay all right, so now last but not the least, a feature. Let's talk about logo illusion. So now you can turn your logo into an amazing visual illusion. So let's test this out. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and hit on this run option. And over here, you can now go ahead and create animated logos of your own. So either you can choose the existing logos that Korea AI provides you, which is Adobe, Apple, Figma, Instagram, Nike. So let's just say I go ahead and choose Apple logo. Okay, and I type in my prompt that cliffside monsters in material aware prayers meet clouds. And for uh, the logo strand, I go ahead and do that all the way to the 100%. And let's just generate the illusion and see the output of this now. Okay, so uh, this is our output. So for the cliffside monasteries in Mintora where prayers meet clouds and the logo was Apple logo. And for that, it provided us this image. So this looks good. So yeah, now let's just go ahead and test out for uh, the logo that we're going to provide, like we're going to upload it to Korea AI. So let's just say I provide this logo of skill curve and I go ahead and type in my prompt. Let's just go ahead and type our prompt this time. So I say engraved in pepperoni pizza. Okay, let's just go ahead and do that and generate illusion for this now. All right, so take a look at this. Absolutely perfect. So now we have a logo in our pepperoni pizza, just the way I wrote in my prompt. So just like that, you can go ahead and create very cool animated logos out of that in just a moment of time, okay? All right, so there you go, guys. This was the exploration of this amazing AI image generator tool, which is Kriya AI. So we talked about real-time generation, upscale and enhance, AI patterns, logo illusions. So if you want to see more content like this, Make sure uh, to like this video and click on the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.